all the way back to the Mahabharata and the Bhagavad Gita, which are some ancient Indian texts. And there they talk about Vimanas. And then these, these Vimanas uh, were talked about and written about that they actually had mercury engines and were able to, to levitate and fly silently across the land and transport the kings and elites from place to place. Uh, so we actually looked into that and said, could this be possibly real? And the more we looked into it, the more we found that it could potentially be very, very real theoretically. Mm -hmm. So we started experimenting with different concepts of using mercury uh, because that's what they used. And mercury is a ferrofluid. It's actually a liquid metal. Uh, so we discovered that by putting this liquid metal into a torus, which is a steel torus with a reverse magnetic field inside of it, to keep the actual uh, fluid from the, the, the ferrofluid from touching the inside, and then you actually can bring it up to a rotation to, a, to an RPM of about 50,000. Once you do that, and then pressurize that torus to about 250,000 pressures, you then get this amazing anti-gravity bubble. And what, you don't get complete anti-gravity, but you do get to reduce the weight of an object. With anything within the range of that torus field will be reduced by up to 70% the mass. Uh, so these are some of the theories that we're exper experimenting with, and we're very excited about it because it really looks like we'll be able to provide something that could potentially provide an anti-gravity or, or reduce the mass of an object.